Okay, so the way a DVD player works is there's a spinning disc right here. That's our DVD. And uh, so it spins around. And there is a, underneath of it, there is a motor. And that motor spins, causing the disc to spin. And then there is a, uh, there's a lens and a reflector and a laser diode and the laser diode shines the light on the reflector it goes through the lens focuses on this the DVD and this whole part right here moves out as the DVD spins and what happens is the DVD reflects the light back down uh, back down here and there is a light collector so the light collector says oh okay this is uh, a pit or a bump and it sends that information via pulses of electricity back to the microprocessor so now we're going to look at the laser assembly it's comprised of a number of parts. It has a laser diode, it has a series of reflectors, it has a lens, it has a uh, laser or light sensor, and um, it has an adjustment mechanism. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this uh, covering off. I had already loosened it to make it a little easier to get off. And you can see right here there are two neodymium magnets. Uh, I think they're neodymium because they're very, very strong for their size. And that means it's a, it's a rare earth magnet and they tend to be uh, very, very powerful uh, permanent magnets. And then uh, right here you can see there are two different coils out of copper and there are two coils out of copper there. And the lens is mounted on these wires in between and it can shift and move. So I suspect that that mechanism allows for fine-tuning uh, uh, adjustments of the lens. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can take apart this DVD player. So we'll pop this prism off here. So this sensor collects the reflected light and sends that information back. And let's see if we can... There we go and there's the laser diode so that's the little guy that shines the light that uh, the laser light that gets red that, that hits the disc and gets reflected and read by this sensor